I'm gonna show you how to produce like Porter Robinson. So I'm gonna start this track off with some chords. Here are the chords I came up with. Next up, I used that chord progression and layered it with a bunch of different synths. Here's the first synth. It's just a saw wave with some unison and some reverb. And next up, I added this patch from FL Studios Flex. It is called Illumin Sun. I actually use this patch a lot. Next, I added two layers of very, very reverby saws. And for my last layer, I also used a flex patch. And all together, the layers sound like this. And to save some CPU, I consolidated that into audio. So some of Porter Robinson's newer songs have used fast floor on the floor drums, and that's what we'll be doing today. First off the kick, and I have sidechain the kick to the synths. Next up, some hats and snares. Next, I put in these little filler percussion sounds, kind of like he did in his newest track. And for the drums, we now have this. Next up, let's make a quick and easy bass line using a saw bass. And here's the bass line I came up with. Next up, we're going to use another flex patch just to add some melody to that drop. And here's the melody I came up with. Now let's work on an intro. So I added some kicks and claps that build up. They don't sound too special. Next up, I'm adding this really soft piano intro using the chords we used in the drop with just a little bit of a melody on top. And here's what that sounds like. And I am bit crushing that just to give it more of a computer sound like Porter Robinson tends to use. Next up, I just snagged some quick riser samples. and an impact right here. And next I added a pad for the intro. To introduce the drop more, I put a filter on the consolidated drop chords and it kind of opened it up as so. Lastly, I got these vocal samples. I just bit crushed them and played around with them a little bit. With a real Porter Robinson song, he would have likely hired a vocalist, but for now, we'll just do this as filler. And 
And that wraps up this tutorial. It's worth noting that this is more of a starting point for a Port Robinson song. There are lots of fun little effects you can do throughout the song to match the sound more. For example, you could automate the drop to suddenly drop in volume every once in a while. And then you could put fills in there. It's really up to your imagination, and I'm sure Port Robinson spends countless hours working on this portion of the track. If you enjoyed this tutorial, it'd be fantastic if you could like and subscribe. And also, go ahead and leave a comment on what video I should do next. Thanks for watching, and the beat will play right now.